Okay, this is the uh, Toyota GM ignition conversion. I didn't see any videos on it, so I thought I'd make a video and post it up online, YouTube, so that way everybody can see a video of it and not just some write-up. So, the things that come with this ignition conversion is, is it takes your stock ignition coil that's usually and, and uh, coil and um, igniter unit it's all one unit uh, out of the equation completely because the igniter itself is like two hundred dollars the coil is like sixty bucks but the igniter underneath it is like two hundred so it takes this and replaces it with a um, you might be able to see it. let's see if we can get underneath there it's a uh, GM ignition module uh, before I get anywhere, the ignition module, you can get other kinds of brands. A-Cell, the one with, that makes these uh, these super stock wires, 8mm, um, high performance. They um, sell an ignition module. I didn't want to spend the three or the, the 60 bucks on it because I wasn't sure if this was the issue, the culprit of any problems before because it wasn't starting. So, uh, yeah, so I just didn't get that one. But you can get that one. I looked to probably get that one later on in, you know, future but um, also, uh, I would recommend the A cell super. Uh, wait, was it A cell? Um, A cell coil. The part number on that one is fourteen zero 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 eight. So that's fourteen zero 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 eight. That's an A cell coil, an ignition coil. Um, I did not buy it because none of the uh, local areas stocked it. I would have had to wait three days, and I just didn't want to do that. So I bought an MSD blaster. Uh, this will work. It's just uh, it's around the same same specs as the uh, the A cell coil, but except the A cell coil I think has a uh, lower secondary or primary voltage, whichever the low one is. It's got a lower one, so it actually works better with these ignition modules. But this will do. It's less than uh, one ohm resistance. Uh, it's I think 0.7, but um, the other one's 0.5, and I usually go lower. I like the low low ones because that gives a lot, lot longer spark. So. Um, Basically what you do is is that uh, you, what I did was is that obviously you, it's a four prong unit, two, two unit or two of them go from the uh, one side to the power on this. Okay, so from the coil you have a negative. The negative goes to one, the C prong, okay, the C prong on the uh, module and then the positive goes to the I think it's the B prong the B prong on here right and then also you want to wire in a 12 volt keyed source now I just hooked it back to the stock ignition um, of it and uh, that's where I get my keyed 12 from and so that's B and C and then W or C and um, I think it's B and C and then W and G I think it is over on this side yes the uh, for your regular distributor setup, you should have a white and a pink or red wire. The white goes with the W and the red or pink goes with the G. It's easy to remember because white always goes with the W. So that's how you always remember to hook your distributor wires up. What I did was is I took the old coil, I clipped this off of it, this uh, connector off of it, and then just spliced in some connections, some, uh, little connectors right there. It's a blade type connection, so you'll just need the uh, the um, female ends for the blades, which are those are right down here, you can see them. Um, and better on, you can see them on that side too. So, uh, and then obviously what happens is the little module has two bolt holes. Um, for both of you can, it's better to ground both of them, but I mean, you, you only have to ground one of them. And so that's where this ground wire is going to. It grounds one of, or one of the bolts. And so um, that's pretty much the setup. That's, that's essentially what it is, is that you have your keyed 12 volt power, keyed 12 volt power going to the uh, powered unit on this one, as well as the power going to the power on the plus side on the coil. On the C, one right next to it, is the negative side of the coil. And um, then your two distributor wires. Like I said, W is white, and then uh, G is the reddish pink. And what I did was is that I uh, mounted this to a, a bracket, the bracket that was already here for the, uh, the other ignition module. Just took that apart and then removed that bracket and made it. 
then I put a heat sink on it because these things will get hot and if they get hot they malfunction so um, also now because you have a uh, performance ignition coil I went with the performance ignition wires because they recommend that if you're gonna um, get this whole setup to use the uh, upgraded wires because the stock wires aren't recommended for that amount of voltage so um, also uh, just because I had this whole setup I did a, I pulled out all the spark plugs got new spark plugs and um, they recommend that you gap your spark plugs to 0 0.040 to 0 0.045 0 0.045 being the widest that you'd want them now that and what it is is that apparently with this setup it, it uh, has much more generates much more larger spark more power and um, it'll burn you want it to burn longer with the wider gap so uh, I thought I'd make a video so that everybody knows and sees this so let me turn the, the car on so that you can actually see it running with it and not um, you know think that I just did this and it's not running so uh, let's turn it on Now with this setup, uh, you can do it with any carbureted vehicle. The tack on this this truck stopped working when I did it. Um, I will figure out and try in the future and update the video or uh, the about in the video and see how to do that. But I'm not quite sure yet how to do it. I think it might be the one wire that I'm not using because uh, there were four wires being used before. Now there's only three because I only require two from the distributor and then one keyed 12 volt. And I'm using that from the ignition, the original. So maybe that other wire that's not being used actually goes to the tack. So uh, let's try it. Hold on just a second. It doesn't run very well because that's a lot of other stuff that I need to do. I just bought the truck, but um, you can see that it runs. Let me rev it. There you go. Toyota to GM ignition conversion. Now before, let me turn it off. Now before I go, I wanna tell everybody that the, uh, con the ignition module that you can find is, um, if you go to AutoZone, it's part DR100. Um, but if you wanna look it up, the actual vehicle, it's a 1979. Chevy uh, K10 four-wheel drive pickup and um, Make sure that you when you look under the specifics. It's got the 350 CI motor four barrel carb v8 and uh, When you go under that you will look it up and you'll find this ign four blade ignition module underneath that So that's where you uh, that's the truck that that ignition module comes off of it comes off of a 1979 Chevy K10 pickup four-wheel drive so uh that's where you you'll get that um, this blaster coil is any aftermarket uh, coil this one's oil filled uh, the one that I recommended earlier the a cell one is an epoxy uh, filled uh, core so um, it's whatever I trust the epoxy core a lot better these this oil one can actually get hot enough to where it boils out and whatnot but the epoxy I mean who knows it's it, it's all just you know whatever but they're just different types. It's a canister, canister style, the other one's not. So um, yeah, there you go. The uh, Toyota to GM ignition conversion.